What's up guys, Sam here, welcome to Tech Today TV. While solid facts are a bit thin on the ground at the moment, we have come across images and leaks from sources that can give us a clue as to what might appear in the Xperia 1.5. In terms of design, it seems that Sony will follow the pattern laid down by the Xperia 1.4. We've seen an image online that claims to be the rear panel for the new device, which was closely followed by rendered images from add-on Leax and green smartphones that show an aesthetic hardly altered from the previous model. The rear panel remains home to a triple camera array, although there could be some upgrades to the sensors. The tall, slim construction stays, but some rumors suggest the new device could be slimmed down this year. In the renders, you can see the same button layout out, headphone jack, and USB-C ports that should adorn the reported 161.0 x 69.3 x 8.5 mm frame, which is indeed a little shorter and thinner than the previous generation. If that's the case, then we hope Sony has addressed the heating cooling issues with the Xperia 1.4. That meant it could get quite toasty in the hand. Otherwise, it should sport the same sized 6.5-inch 4K OLED display with its 21.9 aspect ratio albeit with the potential upgrade to a full LTPO panel that can go from 1 to 120 Hz, rather than the more limited scaling available on its predecessor. One change mentioned is a slightly higher camera bump, which Sony will alleviate by giving it beveled edges to appear less prominent. Sony rarely holds back on its flagships, and the Xperia 1.5 is expected to come fitted with Qualcomm's new Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. Perhaps more impressively, rumors are saying that the 12 GB of RAM from the Xperia 1.4 will be upgraded to a whopping 16 GB in the Xperia 1.5. Cameras are an area that always gets some serious attention from Sony when designing its smartphones, and the upcoming model looks likely to continue this trend. While the Xperia 1.5 seems set to get a similar triple camera array to its predecessor, there should be some upgrades included. The main shooter will go from a 1 1.7-inch 12MP sensor to a bigger 1 1.28 12MP sensor, but it also states that a CMOS sensor of that size and pixel count doesn't currently exist, so it could be a new one or an erroneous rumor. The other two cameras are thought to be in line for upgraded sensors, while the variable zoom introduced on the Speria 1.5 could be refined from its current 85mm 125mm to 70mm 105mm. Share your thoughts and comments below, I hope you found our content interesting, and if you did, please like and hit the subscribe button. See you in the next video.